It is Mr. Robert Albers' constant desire to give back that motivates him. Mr. Albers is the owner of one of the few remaining independent pharmacies in Omaha, Ed Rexall's Health Mart Pharmacy. Mr. Albers is committed to keeping his community alive and connected as he continues to practice his profession with distinction. He promotes solidarity, maintains high standards and a small town commitment by providing consultations to local veterans, making deliveries to elderly patients and those in hospice care, and by supporting his parish and youth programs. Mr. Albers is undeniably a man who serves for and with others. The most important thing about my work is getting to know my customers on a personal basis, getting to know them on a first name basis, and making a difference in their life. He's a friend to the community and a friend to me and a friend to the workers. And he operates out of love and compassion. And that's kind of hard to find in today's business. He's got a good business sense and he also understands uh, what neighbors want, uh, both from a professional side and from a personal side. I'm surrounded by great individuals who have great ideas. I kind of get their ideas, uh, incorporate them in with my ideas, and it greatly helps me make a decision. I think he chooses to do the things that he gets involved in because he truly cares. The things that he touches usually turns out to be very, very positive. Faith plays a role in my work every day. It provides me with the values, the guidelines, that any care professional can use to care for their patients or customers. Becoming involved with people's lives, I think, is probably his, his biggest attribute. I try to inspire others, not only by example, but also being one that enjoys giving more than receiving. I don't have any doubt in my mind that the store will be here if he has anything to do with it for another 50 years. He strives really, really hard to get individuals, communities, and organizations to work for a better quality of life. Creighton has given me some of the guidance that has made me the success that I am today.